We are in the Grant Park Liquor Mart Education Center. This is Great Taste of Manitoba. My name is Ace Burpee. I was just over there eating uh, mushroom matzo sliders. And thank you. They were created by Heather Divert, Manitoba Mushroom Growers Association, and they were delicious. And this, I'm assuming, is going to be exactly the same thing. Delicious. Okay, yes. it's like a, a what? A mushroom? Flatbread. Flatbread. Yep. So we're going to make a mushroom mixture. We're going to add some beef to it, put some cheese with it, and we're going to serve it on a tortilla. This is all kinds of wind. What kind of mushrooms are we going to use in this one? Okay, this particular recipe, we are using a combination of white and cremini. Okay. So we're using uh, two cups of each that I've chopped by hand and added some onions to. So while we're on the subject then, yes. we're using white and cremini in this. So there are two types of mushrooms right there yes. available and grown in Manitoba. What are the, like how many are there and what are they? We have five varieties of mushrooms that are available to us in Manitoba. Uh, the whites, the cremini, the third one being the portabella. Which is this Which, yep. guy. The cremini. Turns into it, the yeah, portobello. I learned this from Heather. You Another, let it grow for three more days. Yes. It turns into this. Yes. Same family. Yep. And we also have a nice uh, selection over here. We have some oyster mushrooms. Uh, again, they grow a little bit off center. Nice flavor. Yeah, great flavor. The shiitake, which is actually the only mushroom we recommend that you remove the stem when you use it in cooking. Again, a nice, full, uh, earthy flavor. Yes. And we package them in a nice medley pack now. So this is a portobello oyster uh, and white all together. So Genius. a nice oyster um, variety pack medley of recipes. Okay. Okay. The mushroom flatbread consists of what? Okay, so what we've done is we've just cooked down the mushrooms and onions. To this mixture, you add some ground beef, cooked, drained huh. ground beef, lean, which we have right here. Oh, that's this? Yes. Okay. So we've got a selection going. So this is uh, cooked and drained ground beef. Yep. Again, mushrooms and onions, and that is your meat mixture. Again, along the lines of the trend is to blend. Yeah, the trend. Uh, yep. I like the theme. Yep, so we're so adding. We did that the last time around. We mm -hmm. combined the. Uh, the sort of diced mushrooms with some meat and then made them into the slider. Same sort of thing this time around. Same sort of thing. Again, increases the uh, your vegetable servings in the recipe and as well helps you extend the protein in Excellent. your in your mixture. Okay, okay the uh, mixture I'm going to make now is the cheese mixture to the mushroom flatbread. So it's a cup of ricotta cheese, a half a teaspoon of basil, awesome. and a half a teaspoon of oregano. Also awesome. And that's, again, gives you the nice uh, Italian flavors. There isn't any sauce, like um, tomato sauce or red sauce in right. this recipe. So this becomes our nice cheesy layer in the recipe. So you just want to mix that well. And then we're going to move over to the cutting board and show people how we put this recipe together. So we're going to use a whole wheat tortilla. I like whole wheat better. Yeah, again, lots of varieties of tortillas available to us out there. Uh, pesto, uh, right. spinach, whole wheat, lots of variety. So again, pick what you like. Okay. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to spread half of the ricotta cheese mixture. So smart. Onto Can the flatbread. Yes. Yeah, give you that. So you okay. spread that out, yes. do a nice layer of that. So that's one of our first layers is the ricotta cheese. This is so genius. Yeah. Where'd you get this from? Did you make this recipe up? Yeah. Did you really? Yeah, we You're created good. it. Yes. I love it. Developed it. This and is honestly from beginning to end, it should be pointed out that yes, we started the mushrooms and onions like a little bit early, mm -hmm. but this entire process yes. is going to be around like five minutes. And then when yep. we go and bake this thing, it's like maybe not even probably 10 minutes. Yep. And so from beginning to end, it's this is very, doable. Very, yeah. very quick lunch idea, supper idea, snack idea. And you just take the meat mixture and yep. the mushroom mixture and you use, again, this makes two flatbreads. So you're okay. going to use half the mixture of each this on is each of them. Truly awesome. So then you spread that. The heat from the mushroom and beef mixture melts the ricotta cheese. Right. And then top it with top what? It. This is Monterey Jack cheese. Why not? Again, a really nice flavor. Half, oh. Yep. Half of the Monterey Jack cheese goes on. We're going to put that in the oven at? 400. Four. Eight to 10 minutes. And then when we return, I'll show you what it looks like and we'll pair all these things. Great show yes. so far. We'll be right back.